Hi guys, Boonie's back um, from Organized Messes. I wanted to add a few points about um, triangles before I, I forgot. I didn't want to make a new video. So another important example of triangles is among long-term relationship couples or married partners who have conflict where they're not addressing the issues. And the triangle forms when they start gossiping or complaining about their partner to other people. That is a huge triangle. And a problem with this is that a lot of resentment gets built for the person being told the secrets in the conflict. Sometimes you're sharing in trust, but then again, problems do not get addressed and no resolutions are being made. So the conflict still exists. And although it's a form of relieving stress by trusting someone and sharing your problems, the original conflict and the original relationship is still being damaged and not being being nurtured. And so when people choose to do this, the outside party member might become resentful and kind of tired of hearing all the complaints and have solutions, but then the original people who are involved with the problem when they hear the possible solutions might also get resentful. It's like, why are you telling me what to do with my relationship? So a way that people could address this is not pulling people into their problem. I know it's hard. It, it's not easy. You, you feel like you need to complain to someone about the trouble of what so-and-so did. And it's not easy confronting someone face to face of what the problem is and sharing how you feel because of a history of pain and a history of not having resolution. So it's something that relationship therapists and, and other clinicians can help if someone, if you're seeking support and don't have the tools or just need some coaching in the beginning, a lot of therapists are ready to help. This field is amazing and you just gotta look for the right match and it, it can really help. Okay, I'm done, I swear. Have a great day, you guys. Bye.